Hey, thanks for tuning in to Revelations. It's a series on evangelism and discipleship, and I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, your show host and the executive producer. Our team's been traveling all around the country visiting ministries that are serious about demonstrating this gospel of Jesus Christ. And today we're in New Orleans visiting Trinity Christian Community. With me is the executive director, Kevin Brown. Kevin, thanks again so much for letting our team join you guys here today. It's a pleasure having you. New Orleans, Katrina, you know, it's been 2005, it's been seven years, you know, it's like help has come, they've gone. You guys have been here a while. Tell me a little bit about your ministry and, and the work God's doing through uh, Trinity Christian Community. Well, TCC does three things. Uh, number one, we do leadership development. We take people that are uh, often the cast-off people or the people that others would overlook for leadership, and we equip them for lives of service for the kingdom. Number two, we do capacity building. We enrich the lives and the ministries of people that are going to affect this city, helping them to achieve the potential that they uh, can, can achieve with a little bit of input. And finally, we do community transformation. Uh, we take rough communities and help them become places that are more like uh, the place we envision when we pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Another way of saying that is we do evangelism, discipleship, and ministries of compassion. Yeah. And, uh, you know, since Katrina, you guys certainly had your work cut out for you and, and uh, you rolled up your sleeves and, and, and got busy. Talk to me a little bit about that. Well, you know, after the storm, the ministries that we did didn't make sense. You can't do an after school program when there are no schools and no kids. You can't do a leadership development program when there are no leaders. There's no raw material because everybody was gone. They were gone because their houses were flooded, they were wiped out. So one of the things that we needed to do is to get our, our, our hand dirty and bring in volunteers and begin rebuilding homes. Over the last seven years, we've rebuilt 2,500 homes. Um, we've helped to, to, uh, to facilitate some of the rebuilding as well, and this is one of those homes. Um, we were able to partner with Clemson University, and a great friend of mine took the risk and said, uh, let's try my house. And so we sit in one of the the great homes that have been rebuilt in Holly Grove since the storm. Yeah, well, praise God. Stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews from some of the staff and supporters and, and hear about how God is using Trinity Christian Community to reach New Orleans with the demonstration of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Stay tuned. Thanks for continuing to watch Revelations. We're in New Orleans visiting Trinity Christian Community. We're talking about evangelism and, and demonstrating this gospel. It's such a big word, evangelism, Kevin. I, uh, you know, everybody thinks you have to be an evangelist, but you guys have some real uh, neat programs and projects that kind of do relational evangelism. Yeah. Talk to me about that. One of the things that we've discovered in our community is that when you have a relationship with somebody, they're much more able to hear you when you talk about Jesus. So we do things like home rebuilding. We do things like community outreaches where we have family fun days at the park. We do all sorts of after-school programs and senior programs and leadership development programs which give us the opportunity to speak prophetically in the lives of, of our community. It's said that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so we spend a lot of time caring about our community. Yeah. And... Uh... You know, you just, you got a great team that, that actually, you know, we do. spends a lot of time. They say, you know, you can spell the word love, T-I-M-E, right? So this doesn't happen overnight, and uh, it, it takes time to do this type of ministry. Right. It does. It's great to be surrounded by a group of people that really care, that are from the community mostly, and that have hearts of, of deep compassion for the people of, of, our, of our city. It's a tough city, and um, people in New Orleans, just like everywhere else, uh, are struggling. Uh, they need a savior that can can deliver them from their from their deep traumas that they've experienced, not the least of which is Katrina. Yeah, and you know we just assume that everybody's been to Sunday school and everybody's heard this gospel message, but do you guys still come across folks that have are hearing it for the first time and or they're getting it finally getting it for the first time? You know, I think a lot of people have heard the gospel and not understood what they heard. Uh, in our neighborhood, 
There's a lot of unchurched people, a lot of unchurched people. And our goal is to, uh, to love on them so much that this gospel becomes irresistible to them. Uh, we want to, to show them what it means to truly be a follower of Jesus. You, you can preach at people until you're blue in the face, but until they really understand that you love them, that you care, that this Jesus has transformed your life and they want to be part of that, then they'll listen. That's what we're working on. Amen. Well, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews to talk about ways to love on people and it softens hearts. Ears are opened and they're believing it and receiving it and uh, getting saved. So stay tuned as we talk a little bit more about evangelism. Hey, thanks for continuing to watch Revelations. I'm Pastor Chuck Reese, the show host. With me is Kevin Brown, the Executive Director for Trinity Christian Community. And we're in New Orleans talking about discipleship. So talk to me about discipleship. It's going deeper. You guys have some mentor programs in place. How do you guys do it? Well, so once somebody comes to, to, to us and comes to a relationship with Christ, we want to help them grow in their relationship with Christ. We kind of look like, like a funnel almost. You put a lot of raw materials in the funnel and your leaders pop out the bottom one by one. Along the way, we do things like mentorship. We have a group of boys, for example, that we spend time building chairs that we can sell in the community. We have a program for women called, or for girls called Pure Hearts. It's a sexual abstinence program, but it's much more than that. It's also about being a woman. And, and, and being a woman in a tough city. We have senior programs that give senior citizens things to do during the day. I mean, it's nothing worse than being at home alone uh, and not having a place to go with there's others with you. Um, we have a small church that we're helping to plant. We do summer camps. We do after-school programs. We do a lot of short-term missions to, uh, teams that come through and, and work in the community. In short, we have a lot of programs, but the programs are really a means to an end. It's to help people develop in their relationship with Jesus Christ and to become the leaders that God intended for them to be. It's character building, right? Exactly. So as you're doing these projects, you're demonstrating the character of Christ and it transforms lives. We often talk about, in our programs, the verse in James that says, uh, it says James, it says it also in Romans, um, where trials produce perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. Now we've been through some trials here in New Orleans. We've learned how to persevere. Now we need to develop the character. When you develop character, you know that no matter what happens, you can look at life and it's going to be okay. You have the hope that comes from knowing that God is in control, and that everything's going to be all right when we're tuned in to what He wants us to do. Amen. Amen. And that means looking a little bit more like Jesus every day. Every day. Every day. Well, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews from some staff and supporters of the ministry to hear about discipleship here on the front lines in New Orleans. Stay tuned. Thanks for continuing to watch Revelations, and by now we're hoping you had a few, that God's still working, and there's a part for you to be playing in the body of Christ. With me is Kevin Brown, the Executive Director for Trinity Christian Community here in New Orleans. And Kevin, let's talk about involvement. It certainly takes people to do ministry, so there's lots of ways to get plugged in here, I bet. There are. Number one, we need lots of prayer. This is tough work. It's tough and grinding and grueling, and there's a lot of opposition and attack. We need people to lift us up daily in prayer. So if there's a person out there that really feels led to pray for us, we can use it. Number two, come, spend some time with us. We have the facilities to, to do short-term mission trips. We have trips coming all the time. We can tailor make a trip to a church's needs from a full service trip to just kind of a pay-as-you-go kind of thing. But giving people opportunity to do hands-on ministry for a week in the inner city. And we'd love to have some short-term mission trips come. Third. We need interns. 
We have a lot of work to be done, a very small staff, and we really need people to come and spend three months or a semester or maybe a year working alongside us, learning how to do urban ministry. The final thing is, frankly, we're, we're cash-strapped. We work among the poor. We work in a very difficult and, and poor city, and we can really use the help of God's people. And we don't take up a weekly collection, and if we did, there wouldn't be much there anyway. Uh, and there are great programs going on, but we really need God's people to step up and help us out financially. Yeah, amen to that. Well, stay tuned. We're going to get some more interviews from some of the folks that have been supporting the ministry, and hopefully you too can play a part in, in what God's doing right here in New Orleans. Stay tuned. Hey, well, thanks for watching another episode of Revelations. And Kevin, thank you so much for letting our team visit you guys here in, in New Orleans. And I've you know, interviewed quite a few people today. And uh, what an awesome team you got. Man, it's been really a fun day, hasn't it? Yeah, it really is. And uh, it's a lot of work for you guys still ahead. And uh, I want to pray with you and ask God to continue to bless this ministry and with our viewers watching, uh, that we could all touch and agree. And hopefully that the Lord will raise up some laborers because... The harvest is truly great. That's right. Amen. That's Let's right. pray. Right. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we thank you so much for what you've been doing in the midst of New Orleans and around the world for that matter. We thank you that you're building your church. We pray in one accord with our viewers watching in the power of the Holy Spirit that you'd move in our hearts and show us how we could partner together and co-labor with our time, with our treasures, with our talents. And Lord, we ask you to show us our next steps. I pray that you'd continue to bless Kevin and the board of directors, the staff, and all the volunteers as they're on the front lines ministering in your name that many would come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and continue to be discipled. And Father, we just pray for resources. We pray for uh, you just to open up the, the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that they would have more than enough to meet urgent needs and to continue the work that you've begun here. So we lift up Trinity Christian Community as a ministry and pray that you'd continue to bless it. And we ask you to do this in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Well, again, thanks for watching this episode of Revelations. And I want to encourage you one last time to take a look at their website. It's tccno.org. And until our next episode of Revelations, may you and your family be blessed. Thanks for watching.